a work plan or action plan can help you turn corrective strategies into doable activities. Why is an action plan helpful? Because it prioritizes the corrective actions you must take to improve coverage. It focuses on the most important actions you intend to carry out this year to help your facility overcome problems and reach its coverage goals. It is also helpful because it shows you a detailed and doable plan for implementing corrective actions. An action plan defines what the health facility staff will be doing, when they will be doing it, who specifically is accountable for getting it done, and the resources needed to implement any activities. Here is an example of an action plan not yet filled out. The time to create an action plan is after you have identified and discussed your facility's biggest performance problems during an annual performance review, periodic review meeting, or supervisory visit. Once you have prioritized problems and found the root causes of the problems and determined solutions, you can create an action plan. Let us practice filling one out together. First, it is important that you always start this process with two or three prioritized problem areas in mind. Which communities have the highest number of unimmunized children, the lowest coverage rates, or the highest dropout rates? Which hard to reach communities may need additional services? Are there problems with cold chain equipment or stockouts that need focused attention? Make sure the activities on your action plan will help you serve and do better in these high priority areas. Next, describe the corrective activities you have planned to target priority problem areas such as special interventions or social mobilization activities. For example, you may need to meet with community health workers to determine a convenient day and time to deliver vaccines to fishermen families. Or, you may need to perform a basic repair on a piece of cold chain equipment that has been non-functional for too many days. Your microplan showing vaccination sessions may have excluded a hard-to-reach community from outreach sessions, so you may add an outreach session here on your work plan. All of these problems require corrective measures which should be captured on an action plan. Write down the planned date of each activity and the person or people responsible for it. Finally, identify what resources you will need to carry out each of the planned activities. Determine which resources you have and which will need to be obtained from the district or region. Do you need funds? And if so, how much? Will you need transportation or money to pay for transport? Any allowance required and if so, for whom? Will you be taking any other supplies with you? For example, for an additional outreach session, you may need transportation or funding for transport, a per diem for one day, and supplies such as vaccines, diluents, syringes, a safety box, posters, pamphlets, tally sheets, vaccination cards, and immunization registers. Post the action plan on the wall of your health facility so that everyone is aware of the plan. And monitor progress as you complete activities. Did you accomplish what you had planned for the month? If not, what prevented you from completing an activity? Describe what happened and why in the remarks column. It is important to monitor your progress in implementing activities and note when things go wrong and why. Later, 
When it is time to plan again, or time to update your action plan, you can use these observations to create even more effective plans and ultimately boost your immunization coverage.